Friends of Industry, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's a real pleasure to join you all at this uh, webinar of the Franco-Nigerian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And I think some exciting things are about to happen between France and Nigeria. This will be, as Ambassador Pascal said, this will be my second interaction within uh, two weeks or so uh, with French business interests in Nigeria. I had earlier met with the <clears throat> Africa, Com uh, Africa Commission of the uh, Mouvement de, Un de Enterprise de France, <laughs> MEDEF uh, International. And my French is actually improving every day now with all these interactions with the French to discuss French investments in Nigeria. And I'm pleased to continue these engagements with you uh, all today. Uh, as countries around the world struggle to rebuild uh, our economies, it's very evident that we cannot do this without collaboration. And um, meaningful collaboration is, is, is really quite critical here. Collaboration between countries and between sectors uh, has become more important than ever. And as one of France's leading uh, partners in Sub-Saharan Africa, we are committed to keeping that relationship going, you know, uh, and organizations such as yours, the Franco-Nigeria Chamber of Commerce, are, in my own opinion, a clear demonstration of, the, of this collaboration and of the seriousness with which uh, both uh, Nigeria and France and uh, the commercial and business interests in both countries take the relationship. And I think that um, this is particularly exciting because um, it is also coming at a time when you know, we, um, when, when, we're all, when we're trying to struggle with, uh, if, with all sorts of uh, 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 hard decisions that have to be made. And uh, also we, we're looking forward to so many different, uh, we're, we're looking forward to, so, to the fruition of so many different plans and uh, so many different um, projects and, and programs that we have. You know, for us, uh, a key priority remains uh, the provision of jobs for a large number of very young people. You know, 70% of Nigeria's population, in effect, you know, providing jobs for the Nigerian population. And we have been determined to, you know, work on ways to continue to create real opportunities for young Nigerians, bridging existing skill gaps, equipping them with resources, that they need to contribute positively to our national development. So we're really eager to work with, you know, member organizations of this Chamber of Commerce, you know, as we implement uh, future uh, programs, future job programs, future uh, economic programs. You know, uh, we, we've also, you know, alongside partner forums such as this, we work closely with wholly indigenous private companies because we recognize that the private sector is the real engine of growth. So we do, you know, quite a bit of work, you know, already, and we engage, you know, a different, a different fora with uh, uh, many uh, companies, including French, um, and many French companies, you know, and some have attended some of our events, you know, some of the events that we've organized with the private sector. But our vision is a significant improvement in the Nigerian business environment just to increase uh, cross-border trading and productivity across you know, the economic sectors. So we're working hard to establish a business environment that we hope will be supportive of both domestic and foreign investors. Despite uh, the economic slowdown, and of course, uh, we're all aware of what the uh, GDP figures are this quarter, you know, but uh, I think it's important you know, to uh, recognize that the pandemic, which really is the cause of the sharp downturn, not just in the Nigerian economy, but um, in, in practically all of our economies all over the world, except perhaps China, you know, but it also provides incredible opportunities for, you know, for doing uh, all manner of very innovative, very creative things. And I think that, um, we are in a season where we're ready to experiment and where we're ready to do a lot more. And um, 
if you look at our economic sustainability plan, which is our which was our response to the pandemic, what we tried to do was to do a few things that we thought would be game changing. One of those, for example, and there are quite a few things, I'm not going to bore you with all the details of uh, ASP, which I'm sure you're already familiar with. But one of the important things that we tried to do uh, was uh, with respect to renewable energy, uh, where we, uh, and what we tried to do there is our uh, solar power, uh, our solar power interventions. There we're collaborating with um, uh, several uh, solar power companies to provide uh, within the next 12 months, 5 million Nigerian households with uh, solar home systems. Now, this is partly to address uh, the issues with the national grid by, you know, uh, providing more off-grid capacity, but also, you know, to provide uh, real opportunities in this, in, in, in the renewable energy space. And uh, I think that this might be of interest to um, business, to French business people also. What we're doing is that um, we're, we're, we're getting financing through the central bank as part of the economic sustainability plan. I, I'm sure you're aware that we have a 2.3 trillion uh, uh, plan. The funding is about 2.3 trillion. But the substantial part of that funding is coming in the form of loans to um, uh, the private sector, especially those that are involved in the assembly of solar power equipment, installation of solar power equipment, and even retailing solar power equipment. And the whole idea is uh, to resource them so that they can provide uh, these uh, services to the 5 million initial target, the 5 million homes, which is our initial target. And then uh, we hope that, um, uh, of course, that will create several opportunities around it. Uh, the, even, the, even the payment systems that would have to be worked out around the solar home systems will provide some opportunities, installation, servicing, maintenance, etc. So, so, this, so the, the, this is a very important part of the work that we're trying to do. We have the collaboration of the World Bank on this as well, and we think that um, this is a project that will redefine in many ways, uh, uh, the power sector, especially the provision of power uh, in uh, homes, uh, domestic provision of power, we think that that might be, this might be something that would really make uh, a huge, a huge difference. We're, 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 we're really open to uh, whatever, you know, what, what other, you know, ideas, suggestions and all of that that are possible, I'm sure that today we'll have uh, uh, conversations also around uh, what's going on in the hydrocarbon industry, where you know we have Total that's doing some really excellent work here and all that. And we're also quite happy to announce, and I'm sure uh, my my friend Ambassador Pasquier will be happy about the Air France and all of that developments around that. I think all of that has been quite uh, good news and we're all you know happy that um, Air France is able to go back and forth uh, from Nigeria again. So uh, again just to uh, thank you very much for this opportunity and to uh, look forward of course to the discussions that will follow and to uh, say how you know uh, greatly encouraged we are about the interest uh, that the Franco-Nigerian uh, Chamber of Commerce continues to uh, generate in uh, the Nigerian economy and Nigerian business. So we hope that this will be, this union, that this uh, collaboration will be stronger and stronger. Thank you again. Thank you very much and um, uh, I look forward to the conversations. Thank you.